Bully. Scholarship Edition. And then the title. The Northern Lion Live Super Sunday... Swin Day. Sunday. Subscriber. Show. Get back in my musical mood. Alright, here we go. Wouldn't it be great if now there was like a, a mini game in Bully? That was just Magic the Gathering. Dude, that's actually the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater like uh, dismount. Guaranteed. Or Gwent. I'll accept Gwent. Grottos and Goblins is like that? Why are you not in no, no, no! No, I gotta go to English class! Now, if I wanted to point out, I did not... Oh, no. Welcome I did not back, leave everybody. Hut... Or, sorry, EASHL last night because I was mad. I left because Kate and I went to see The Incredibles 2. Was I mad? A little bit. <laughs> Mostly at Green. Not at you. I'm clearly going places. You lose this? Yo, man. How you doing? How you doing? That's a great photo. What's the problem? Hey, what's up? Hey, you. You're my friend, right? They'll all be sorry one day. You foul little piece of crap. Oh, my memory card doesn't work. What's the problem? Prefects don't count? Well, who do I take photos of? Just anybody, I guess. Well, it's extremely easy. How you doing? Prefects are students. Don't start with me, chat. Hi. Dude, that's the greatest yearbook photo. It's perfect. You know, Jimmy, you have a little bit of a rough edge, but I really think there's something special about you. I don't like how she wears the same clothes every day. How you do it? Are you telling me you have to take photos of every single student? I'm done. You wear the same clothes every day? That's not true. I wear two or three different outfits weekly. I'm so glad. Oh, it's in the freaking city, I man. I thought you were talking about Jimmy. Or sorry, I thought you were talking about me, not Jimmy. Jimmy does wear the same clothes every day. Get snapped, buddy. Nailed it. Do you make sure you don't wear the same clothes to your class? Week in and week out? No, I don't really care. For the most part. I just make sure I show up to class on time. Except this week I showed up five minutes late, and then we didn't start doing anything special until like 25 minutes in anyway, and I was mad. Dude's taking up an assignment everybody got 100% on. Tad's house? I'm sorry, I'm sorry! You think I'm dumb? <laughs> Who's dumb now? I'm dumb, I'm dumb, real dumb. Hey, hey, kid, hey, kid, help me out, please! Easy, Russell. He's very calm strong. Down, calm down. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> good boy. Thank you, thank you. Jeez, that dumb kid's really strong. Dumb? Hey, be good. No. Be good. Not you, Einstein, not you. So, how did everything work out with those eggs? Not like I was hoping. Never trust a rich kid. Too bad, too bad. Was it that jerk, Tad? Does he have you know, to repeat everything two times? Party at my boss's house right now. If you wanted a revenge thing, now would be a good time. I guess I'll need some more eggs then. Ah, yes, you got it. Thanks. Come on, Russell. We've got a house call to make. Any eggs you want, we got them. Three fifty per box, we got them. 
Where did I put my bike? I lost it, baby. I lost it. Three fifty for eggs. That seems relatively acceptable. Three fifty for twelve eggs. It's like thirty cents an egg. Come on, that's a reasonable price. Worth it. Hey! A carton of large eggs is a buck fifty. Look, I live in Canada. Things tend to be vaguely, slightly more expensive here. And then I live in Vancouver on top of that, which adds like another 25% to every purchase you've ever made. Um, plus, the Canadian dollar is like 70% of the American dollar right now. Might not be wrong. Yo, this song bangs. This is okay. I got it. One second. Papa nada, Papa nada, Papa nada, Mo buddies, Papa nada, Papa nada. Oh, I I misjudged it. Papa nada, Papa nada, Papa. This is a very bizarre game. Did he just say KSI? He said, "Kiss my." <laughs> Kiss my fist. It actually looked like that it was like some tactical analingus. Sorry, Russell. You're not going to get away with this. Average price of an egg carton in Toronto is three dollars and twenty-two cents. I told you, your boy has his finger on the pulse of the cost of living in the country in which he lives. Dear God, it's all over the wall! We'll find you yet! I'm so good. I do my own grocery Get shopping. Screw. Come on, Russell. I pay about four dollars here in the bay. Dude, well, it's like one of like maybe ten places on earth that is more expensive than Vancouver, so I believe you. Dude, the controller vibration on that is really good. How common are Canadian chickens? I would say without a doubt it's the most commonly consumed uh, meat in Canada. But we do also, you know, have one tenth the people of the United States. How are you today? Swiss chalet, baby. <laughs> There's something. I think we talked about it because we talked about everything. You, talk, you think about everything. <laughs> but either way, um, Sir, Swiss help. chalet is like uniquely. Central and Maritime Canada everyone out here hates it and they all go out of business But when you're in Ontario people are like oh man, I could really go for some of those Swiss chalet fries so with the I chalet do sauce Do what beat those rich kids into submission? Well, what have you tried so far random violence widespread destruction gratuitous sadism? No, no, that's not gonna work. They get all that kind of stuff at home. Now, what is chalet is sauce? Beat one of them publicly. You I know it's like to them you're better than their best man Chicken broth and some kind of seasoning. Not bad, Pete. Not bad at all. Xanthan right. gum, cornstarch. See you around. Wait, Jimmy, can I come too? You know what? Don't worry about it. How bad is Vancouver traffic? Uh, well, compared to like 
like American major city traffic and compared to like Montreal and Toronto, it's not horrendous. But it is pretty bad. Seattle's a lot worse. LA is a lot worse. Um, but it is still pretty bad. It's bad enough that if it's like 5 or 6 p.m., like basically 4 to 6 p.m., I would rather never drive at all. Sometimes you gotta do it, but. You and me, Biff. You and me, Seattle Biff. traffic you is really me, bad. The noble yeah. Art of boxing. May the best man win. And then you little trust fund fairies will know what life is all Pardon about. Me? Anytime, Popper. Of course, <laughs> the best man always wins. Me. Come on. Afterwards, you can clean my shoes. You get it? It's uh it's a good fellas. Biff Taylor. Corey, are you watching? Hopkins, you're such a whip. This is how you do it. You wait for an attack, you dodge, and then you just let him friggin' have it. Have you be ever been on the 405 during rush hour traffic? Where's the 405? Is it the Gardner Expressway? Is that the QEW? Oh, it's LA. I did, I mean, we took an Uber in LA during rush hour once, and I was like, why does anyone live here? Oh, it's the one next to the I-5. But the I-5 south of Washington, I assume. We're so good. Uh oh. Kid just beat An upperclassman. He's our new champion. What? He is the right. new champion. Yeah, come on. Come on, man. This guy what? looks like the guy from Disgusting. My Strange Addiction who's addicted to plastic surgery. It takes more than victory to become a champion. It takes breeding and nepotism and snobbery. You filthy Democrat. Uh oh. Gentlemen, are we going to let some gutter snipe come in and beat up our friend Biff? No! <laughs> then what are we going to do? Beat him back to the ghetto! Wow! Yeah! yeah. Yes! You guys soften him up. I'll get a drink. Defeat Darby. Darby, I'm so sorry to tell you this. You are absolutely done. Machine. How did that happen? Vietnam uppercut. Reversal! Dude, <laughs> okay. Hear me out here. You gotta wait for the next bar. Okay. Rising up, back to the streets. Took my time. Took my chances. Oh, it's just like slightly off. Oh! You are. Get away from me. It's the thrill of the fight. As in a power losing. Wait. Last no creeper does his hiss in the night. And he's watching us. It's the eye of the spider. You get the I I kinda ran out of momentum there. Hiding behind your friends. I'm leveraging the assets I have, and you don't. Friends. Just shut up, Darby. Here's some more tactics for you, poor boy. I would like That's to right, vault boys. over the bar, please. Teach him some manners. Oh, oh, he doesn't mess around. You 
can run, but I can hire people to hunt you down. Get back here, you going nowhere piece of turd. Excuse me, sir. Sorry, I engaged in some weapon violence. Move, bitch. <laughs> You're pathetic. Try to hurt me. This guy's pretty strong, though. Punch me straight in the back. Oh! I don't know, this is gonna be close. Never mind, we're dead. Give me a hand in here, boys! It's okay, these guys are gonna drop some beam colas. Oh! My turn! Give me the cola! He gave me the cola. He gave me the cola. We're back. Hey, hey, hey. I need more cola. You better not damage my clothes. More cola, please. No, no, the wrong wrong boy! Keep running, it won't help. Look at that was a rubber band. I thought it was a can of coke. I'll put you in your place. Let's go, cola? No cola! Oh, I would love some Mandu. Smack him! No! Wow, 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 wow. What is this fighting stance, dude? Have you tried punching? Did you see he blocked every shot I sent at him? You guys soften him up. I'll get a drink. No, 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 no. Yeah, go get a drink. Go, go get some beam cola. Yo! Give me the cola. Give me the, give, give me the cola. You're dead. There's our cola. Full health. No eggs. No eggs. What a terrible thing to say. Maximum capacity for eggs. You ignorant popper, get over here. Give up the I love it. If they just let me box him, I would destroy him. I have and you don't. Friends. Sorry, can you turn down the music a little bit? I can't hear Shut what they're saying. Me. Here's some more tactics for you, poor boy. Get that He just blocked a stick of dynamite. It's just a minor setback. Excuse me, sir. working it's not working just grab him oh he's good Give me a cola 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 hey grab him grab him no one saw that I, oh he's done He reverses. He reverses the grab. Dude, he's so good. Oh, oh Lord. I have to carry on the family name. Oh. Please. No. Hit him with the Vietnam uppercut. Not the worst idea. Then you go to town. Genius. No! 
Oh! So close. Why did I ever come here? What well, am I supposed to fight a shape-shifting spirit? Puts his hand through his body. You guys soften him up. I'll get a drink. You threw an egg at your boy. That's not how you're supposed to do it. it. Really seems like we should be throwing eggs, based on all the NPCs who have eggs. Another 1-3 Monday Night Magic? Pardon me? We were 3-1? Right, Don't even start with me, buddy. You can also leg sweep? Yeah, but for your information, I forgot how to do that. You pathetic wretch, hiding behind your friends. I'm leveraging the assets I have, and you don't. Friends. Punch then Just hold. Shut up, Darby. Here's some more tactics for you, poor boy. I don't know. Vietnam uppercuts getting the job done. No. Amazing punch. We got him. Oh my god, that sound. He's so good. Oh, we accidentally swept the leg. Nowhere to run, buddy. Nowhere to hide. Don't. No, 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 no. I will not lose to you. Give me your cola. I was a little scared there for a moment. Hey, trophy earned. Might as well go for a cola, nobody hurts. Who's the boss now? I can't it's me, the mayor of Flavortown. Who's the boss now, my waspy little friend? Uh, Answer the question. You are... Louder! You are... Uh, That's right, me. Now you girls, learn to play nice, you understand? That song's too Canadian to be a general reference. What about this one? Ooh, a night, everything will be all right. Come on, come on, love me tonight. And I'll be yours till the sun comes up again. Now, Darby is really stupid, do -do 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 -do. and rich. So it will surprise none of you to discover in a future life, he'll end up in Congress. A future life? But this is my story, not his. People don't know that one? Nah, son, it's Chilliwack. Control, it's time to turn my attention to their sworn enemies, those greaseball kids. Can we keep Canadian songs exclusively in Canada? Well, I'm sorry, James Cameron, as the ambassador to Canada, released onto the world our number so one song, My Heart Will Go yourself. On. You taught those rich scum a lesson? They're rich, weak bullies. It was easy. They picked a fight with me, and I showed them who was boss. And Gary got them to pick that fight, so maybe you'll show him as well. Gary's an even bigger Next, he's going to bust out some hey, April wine. What's this throwback want? A haircut? What is his hands are so big? What does April Who Wine knows? sing? Hopkins, right? Give me a second. Friend Johnny needs your help. Then tell your friend Johnny April Wine. For it. Nobody tells Johnny anything. Johnny. Oh, that that is they do. Ooh, what a night! Ooh, what a night! Everything will be alright. I, like I thought it was service? Chilliwack. You're gonna pay for this. What is wrong with this place? Everyone here either needs help, wants to beat you up, or both. Well, you know who Johnny Vincent is, though, don't you? No, and I don't care. He's head of the greaser clique. Get friendly with him, and he can help you get to Gary. Yeah, maybe. I'll tell you something, Pete. This place blows. Tell me about it. I wasn't really paying attention. I'm, I apologize. Apparently, they also sing uh, Sign of the Gypsy Queen, another <laughs> Canadian classic. Be the sign of the Gypsy Queen. No one cares? Excuse me, sir! No one cares about what I said or nobody cares about the game? Both might be true, but you should only say one of them. Sorry, it's about time for class. Skid. Sorry! 
Doesn't, it's not a snowboard. It's a skateboard. <laughs> I gotta do it. I'm not a Gnelf. I'm a Gnome. Then you just got gnome It's our time. I'm so glad I saw you today. Uh, where is this class? It's over. Oh, is it like a second level chemistry class? Ooh, baby, I love you way. Oh, it's a class you've already done. Ah, Frig. Hurry up and get a table. It means you can skip it. We've got a lot of work before us today. <sighs> Extra credit. I walk down the hall. Very good. Good job. Keep paying attention. You might get money for it. What is this, Scandinavia? Getting paid to go to high school? Fascinating, isn't it? So good. Job nope. well done. <laughs> Apparently not. Brussels sprouts are the king of the vegetables. Change my mind. Uh, nothing to change, dude. Brussels sprouts, absolutely fantastic. One of my favorite vegetables as well. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, I gotta I go. need my butt itches. I'm coming for you. What is it, Harry Potter? I think they taste like little cabbages. You ain't kidding, buddy. I think they are little cabbages. I got stuck on a corner! Oh, God. I'm just waiting for class. Potato is the best vegetable? It is, but it's also cheating. Sorry, I'm in the half pipe right now. If I die before I wake, at least in Bullworth I can skate. Cause right now on earth I can't do jack. Heaven is a half pipe, baby. Oh, it's another skippable class. Alright, we out then. I'm gonna do one more mission, and then I will pass it off to Kate. Whoa, it's like a new city, or like a different part of the bridge at least? Actually, corn is the best vegetable? Break it up, you two! I disagree. Do the mission in the school. Probably a good idea. I like corn okay. The restaurant Kate and I went to last night. Oh, man. They had some cornbread. Delicious. Cooked over an open flame. The real smoky flavor. Yeah, you're actually right. Why did corn move into coffee with a K? When they could have started making cornbread. Or corn flakes, very true. I'd rather not speak to this lady again. She's got 14 fingers. That's not disturbed, that's corn. You know, so they, they go, ooh, I, 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 feeling like a freak on a leash. <laughs> Who's the lucky guy? Dr. Wath! The chemistry teacher? Uh -huh. I don't know what it is about that guy. But every time I get a look at his bald head and no. manic eyes, I go all gooey inside. Okay, that's enough information. Thanks. Yeah, it's true. 
Love is blind. I sure hope so. Hey, kid. I need you to do me a favor. <laughs> Dr. Watts doesn't actually realize that we're going on a date yet. <laughs> but we are. <laughs> and I need to get ready. So, can you get me... Is this the lady who sells you English cheese? Room? Excuse me. You know where that is, right? Yo, I had a Wensleydale? Oh, I almost forgot. Some candy and some sedatives. And for the sedatives, don't buy Delicious them. cheese. Them in the trash. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I can do that. Good. <sighs> Gorgeous. Did you have it with crackers? I mean, I had it with Kanaka Broad. Hold on, hold on. They're far away. Excuse me, I'd like to leave. If the roles were reversed, this would cause an outrage. I'm here to tell you, it probably wouldn't have in 2008. 2007, whenever this came out. You probably would have just been like, eh... It's a little, like, it's some dark humor. But I don't think they would have freaked out. Now, people would definitely be like, that's not cool. But this, you know, this game came out in an era where games journalism was still pretty much like, Top 10 hottest babes I want to fuck from Tomb Raider. And that was like the biggest news story of the month. It was printed in a magazine on real paper that they murdered trees to, you know, fuel their ambition. That was like YouTube in 2014? You're, you're telling me, buddy. Hey, Laura Croft gives me a big old boner. Well, I'd sure like to raid her tombs, am I right, fellow gamers? Please. Please let me leave. This is the wrong direction. This is the right direction. Can you visit the beach house before you end the stream? I will only visit the beach house if the game plays beach house. Oh, now we got some speed. Skirt! You know, none of my girlfriends really are... Can you buy some new clothes for Jimmy? No, I can't afford them. Hey, I'm walking here. Plus our bike's here. You're like totally addicted, huh? Well, I've got some candy, but you'll have to pay for it. Okay. For you, my friend. Oh, we'll be best friends forever. Great soundtrack. Rummage through the garbage. Get some sedatives. Use that. That's how you interface with video games back then. Talk to you later. Jimmy's about to discover the opiate crisis. Yo, that's not funny, man. I've been watching Drugs, Inc. Apparently, that's a real problem.
Watching, like, grandmas selling prescription pills out of their bathtubs. Well, the third item is back at the school. It's real bad in Utah? Uh, do, uh, what is this shader? It's real bad everywhere, right? I mean, it's bad here. It's like dawn of the final day or something. Excuse me. I'm afraid that my instruction is mostly incomprehensible to the students. Uh, just yell at him. Hey! What's going on, sir? You imbecile guy, imbecile! Pull the fire alarm. Genius. Pull. Oh, I see it. No, that's a sign that says one. It's right there, of course. Game design. You saw nothing. You see this? He's so good. Whoa, dude, the teacher's lounge kind of rules. I never knew this is what it was like. Alright, give these back to the lunch lady. Break the wrist, walk away. They're not like that, they usually suck. I mean, I guess I did have a teacher's lounge when I w was in Korea, but it was literally one long table we sat on both sides of. And there were like six computers and ten teachers. Hey, Edna, but it did have stuff. that sweet paper slicer that was hey, like a guillotine. Edna, I got your stuff. Ha! Oh, whoa. Oh, my luck. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> if I was 50 years older, I'd date you myself. Ah, thanks, Kiff. <laughs> Where's the perfume? Right here. Yo, is this the council? Uh, uh, oh, thanks. I needed that. Rockstar. I get so nervous before a date. Yeah, well, good luck, Edna. Hey, kid, wait. I need you to do me a favor. No. Another one? Yeah. What's in it for me? Ha! I won't spit in your food. Will you spit in Mr. Hattrick's if I say yes? Ah! For you, kid, I'll do worse than spit. Okay. <laughs> what do you want? I want to go on a nice date with Dr. Watt. So go then. Have fun. Yeah. Well, you know what you kids are like. You see a beautiful couple out on a date, and you're bound to do anything to ruin it. What are you talking you about? Point. So listen. I need you to watch out for me and keep those disgusting kids away. I don't want to do it right now. Oh, good. We don't have to do it right now. Dude, she's loaded. I should teach lessons or something. All right. <laughs> We're going to end the show here.